Hey lovies, what the Reds up fam? If you're new here, my name is Tarian or TA, and I'm a Connecticut-based lifestyle YouTuber, and you're watching my channel. And today is Tuesday, October 31st. It's about 1 a.m. Almost like one, almost 2 a.m. And my water broke at uh, about 1:20 a.m. this morning while sleeping on the couch. I just had a contraction and then um my water just started gushing out of my of me onto the couch i got up got mike and we've been getting ready my sister's here my sister's here to get penny and all of her things mike is rushing around i'm gonna go put that stuff in your car mike said mike said i have to poop i'm so nervous yeah <laughs> Uh, you can leap her sneakers out, yeah. Or we could put her Uggs on her. It doesn't matter. Whatever is more comfortable. Yeah, but the, you could pack. Yeah, but you can pack the sneakers just for. You could pack the sneakers just for the day. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, I know, but I mean, in terms of what she's oh, right now. this is better to sleep her feet. So. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happening. We are kind of frantically getting everything together, and we are about to meet, we're about to meet baby girl. So, let's do this. Penny, are you going to meet baby sister soon? No. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Uh, I have no winter coat because I think I washed it. Let's take mine. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where's that other, the one that my mom bought you? It should be in the car still because okay. you brought it in the car with the yeah. other one, so it should be in the trunk. Perfect. I remember seeing it there. I just got in the car. I'm waiting for Mike. And I think I'm feeling my first contraction it is 207 he's so nervous that was only so that we could fit. so, so oh, i can sit hell? oh my god okay well that's how i sit in the car when i drive if it's that far up okay <laughs> so that i could sit in the in the back seat with her that's what that's why we were uh, I, can, I can still do that and keep it in the car it was just about the stroller space so oh, now, okay that's fine um so yeah now we're headed to the hospital i haven't felt i haven't really felt the baby but i don't think that's to be expected right now yeah and uh i have a lot of water coming out of me my diaper is full so we really need to get to the hospital um, I don't feel like super organized in terms of my bag. There have been so many other times that I was like super, super prepped. But I, my, my purse has everything. It's just not in an organized fashion. So I think I'll just go through my purse I'm when I'm at the hospital. I'm just gonna do a real quick check. I'm pretty sure I locked the front door. Wait, just give me a second here. Okay. Um, so Penny's with my sister now. And uh, yeah, we will check in when we can. Everyone's saying that this should be a faster labor since it's the second time around, so we will see. We will see how it goes, but I am. I'm just excited. I'm not nervous. I'm not scared. Um, yet. Yet. And I'm not feeling any pain right now, so we will see. I'll have to get my. I texted the doula, but I haven't heard back yet, so I'm just gonna. I think I'll call her when we're at the hospital. Um and then go from there. Well, our hotel room for the next, hopefully just like, a <laughs> little bit is here. We, yes, <laughs> the room prices are yeah. wild. And we're at the hospital. Oh when, yeah, I already introduced Oh, you did? Yeah. Damn, cut. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Mike here. Uh, we're obviously at the hospital. I'm doing my little update now that I can breathe and actually talk into a camera. We made it. 
No, baby was born in my car. That was the only thing I was really thinking the whole time. I was like, this guy. I, I knew, I knew that's what you were thinking. I was like, just no way. I won't allow this. Here, guys, for context, for context, my cousin and I have had like our first baby around like the same time, and then we're pregnant at the same time again. But she already had her her Th son three months ago. Yeah, three months ago. So she 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 uh her baby came fast and she ended up delivering in her garage so michael has been very nervous about that ever since so um i i could tell in your face you were like we gotta get out of this house you were like mm -hmm. very like yeah we gotta get out of here um so yeah because a lot of her people told us if my water broke the everything would kind of start very fast yeah so we're still waiting for that to happen because it's been about an hour since your water broke maybe a little bit more than that it's been an hour and a half so far since my water broke okay um so yeah so that's the status update we're still kind of waiting to be it's not really triage but we're like just checked out and stuff we're still waiting for all that stuff to happen so no real updates so far it is 2 52 in the morning um so yeah, October we'll keep, 31st. October 31st. You have a Halloween baby? I cannot believe that. Don't keep saying it until it happens because, man, wouldn't it suck to have it on November 1st, baby? It would be terrible because that means a lot of things took a long time. But you never know. I mean, it's a long process and you're not showing any signs right now. All right. So we're, we finally have seen a doctor. It's 4 a.m. now. Yeah. Wow. It's 4 a.m. Um... Terry's having contractions about every seven minutes, which is not long enough for them to like consider anything really. It's, this is like early labor. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna take, well, not we are. She's gonna take some Pitocin to speed this up. This is gonna get us to the, the, to the place we wanna get to faster. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's kinda how the decision's being made. Um, and then pretty soon they're gonna come back again, take Terry's blood pressure again, Hook her up with an IV in case anything, in case they need it, uh, for any reason down the road. Um, yeah, because my blood pressure was just the yeah, highest blood pressure was a little bit high, high. and I'm just gonna retake it. I think that's everything up to now. I'm feeling pretty good so yeah. far. This is the the chill part. Yeah. I remember this with Penny too, where it's like, this is you know, this is the part where the fate where you fate out. I mean, because we we come here so early, I guess both times, yeah. but you're just like. This is labor, and then it's and then the part that now I remember the part that's actually where I'm like, oh yeah, no, that 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 part's more intense. I'm scared. So. I'm nervous for that part, um, for sure. But I like I like Mike said, I have been having contractions, and they've been manageable. They're painful, but you know what? They're as painful as what I've been having at home. Like, my, my worst at-home contractions... It's worse I'm, than this, for sure. My, yeah, well, some of them, yeah. yeah, depending, you know. So, they're, like, the same or worse, so it's not, like, too crazy. Yeah. But but once once that Pitocin hits, that's going to be another story. So, mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Cool. All right. Well, we'll check back in when the next thing happens. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later. It is 5.15 in the morning now. Yep. Um, and I think I'm officially hooked up to Pitocin. Yes. So my contractions are about to pick up. Mm-hmm. Soonish. Other than that, um, I don't know if we had done this yet, but they did a follow-up on my blood pressure, mm -hmm. and it is still a tiny bit high, so... Um, I think they are looking for any, like, the bottom number to be above 90. So the first time it was 92 and the second time it was 93. Yeah. Um. But they don't, they're not worried about it until it's 110. Yeah, they're not, they're not too they're worried about it yet. Yeah, they're keeping an eye on it. So we, they did blood work and then I'm going to have to do, like, some, like, urine and then they're just going to basically monitor that. So I thought I'd jump on because... I think now that the Pitocin's running through my veins, mm -hmm. um, the the contractions are gonna pick up. And what did she say? She's just like, oh, she said that the baby's then, head is so well applied to the cervix. Yeah. She's like, 
with the Pitocin and some like consistent contractions because my contractions are like I'm having them but they're not like mm -hmm. very close together yes so um, she's like with some consistent contractions that I they I think they're thinking this should move along pretty quickly that was your oh, sorry. that was the impression I got right is that like and then because the, the next thing she was saying was after you after the Pitocin kicks in they're like and then you know you'll let us know about pain management. Like it's gonna mm -hmm. like that's what's this gonna happen. Gonna you're, you're gonna go through the pain, and then you're gonna be all right. I can't handle this anymore. Let's do some Let's gas do and some air. Some gas and air or epidural. What time do you think we'll have the baby? I think that's we're having. Too early to even guess. Do uh, you think so? Oh my god, I have no clue. We're definitely having the baby six, today. Six like, p.m. A hundred percent. I think we're having. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna have an evening baby this time instead of an afternoon baby. Oh my! I mean, there's no like afternoons in like a few hours. If I just don't. I don't see how it could pick up that fast, based on how it was last time. Another one? There you go. <sighs> Is the heating pad helping at all? Yeah, I mean, they can only do so much, right. you know? Yeah, it's not really nice. Yeah, we will check in with more updates later. Probably the next update, I feel like, is like... I need an epidural! I don't think I'm going to update that. I think the next update is probably going to be baby. Oh, so. uh, yeah, we might just be lazy about it. Yeah. I mean, sense. well, not lazy, but if you remember to pick up the camera yeah. during some of my have, contractions... To, yeah, I mean, we have to ask about labor. Did you want to delivery? Do it? I mean, delivery, yeah. It is 9.56 a.m. We are uh, at this point now. Terry has had an epidural. She's trying to rest a little bit, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. Um, we are kind of in a waiting game right now. This It's going to be at some point today, but you know we're kind of just like she's in different positions to try and encourage um, more dilation and be able to get further along the process to where we can start with the pushing. So... Uh, all has been going well. We're just, like I said, uh, having a... Actually, this is the, the good part. This is the hotel stay that Terry was talking about. This, it's happening now because at least it's quiet. It's just the two of us. Uh, from here on out, that will never happen again. <laughs> so, um, this is like, you know, all the... Wow, the light actually works great in here. The, the room, you can't tell, but the room's super dark. We're just trying to relax. I'm about to be living in that chair for the next uh, probably 30 or 40 minutes uh, while Terry gets some sleep. Anyways, that's the update. Uh, we'll check in again in a little bit. Bye. Hey guys, it's like 11.30 now. I'm 90% effaced and what? Six centimeters? Uh, six to seven. Six to seven. Six to seven. <laughs> centimeters dilated so it's happening i have the epidural and uh yeah we're moving along i just had jello because i'm starving to death um but yeah it's happening it's happening oh boy Let me see her. Five, 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 five
Oh, here. Awesome, awesome. Let's look at it. Yes. Nine, right here. Eight, seven, go, 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 go. six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you got another one? Oh. You have one more? Yeah, you're really good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing job. Good job. Beautiful job. Her hair is sticking out of you guys. Yep. Yeah, it is. Just give it some umps. Nice. Worst case scenario, could we vacuum the baby out? Yes, we can, potentially. It's just a bigger tear, okay? So I would like it if you could do it without eating it, but our baby's heart right now. Cooperate is more about time, okay? Unpredictable on how much time we have, how well that's gonna handle the gas, okay? It's probably because the baby's been in the vaginal canal for a while, so it's kind of getting squished, but it's a matter of, uh, good back. Most baby, we need 10 minutes, okay? You got this, you're gonna do it. Yeah. You got it. Push this baby sunny side up, is it? Three big ones. One to get it back to where it used to be. Second, keep it right there in the third place. There it is. Yep. Alright, yeah. 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 Good job. 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 Good Push out a sunny side up baby. You're badass. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs>